in your uh, despair for this tournament. I joined you in like, you know, crapping on the committee and saying, what was the point of all this? I joined you. And then I got to tell you, the ball got tipped on the 2024 NCAA tournament. And as a television product, as an entertainment product, I was glued. I had the four screens up. Is this the most entertaining product in all of sports? I still go divisional round of the NFL. That's the, the mm. best thing. And then the offshoot to me is uh, the non what's the best sporting event that doesn't have any actual sports in it like the selection show used to be deeply meaningful in my life for the for the march madness tournament the nba draft lottery is fun to check out sunday at the masters is good uh, but i'm gonna go with the nfl draft you have four hours where you are going to stare at a television screen and consume sports. What is the most entertaining thing in, in all 365 days? If you're now giving me a rigid time frame, and I'd love to bend it just a little bit to, let's say, four and a half hours. Sure, four and a half. I mean, for the most consequential moment on the sports calendar, I would go with the um, title game Sunday in the NFL. And I would want mm. to see like the fourth quarter of the first game and then the full second half, second game. I guess that would yeah. be the window that I would select. If I could only watch for one year, I'll take that like a four and a half, five hour window title game Sunday in the NFL. I just love having multiple things all at one time. Maybe it's, you know, my attention span, maybe it's generation, it's awesome. maybe it's just whatever it might be. Actually, I know what I would take red zone during the uh fantasy football playoffs now it's your team you literally your team that has something on the line and you're able to consume a bunch of things over uh, all at once and so i would say opening thursday and friday of march madness like a summer olympics weekend when there's a bunch of medal events happening all at once either that like second saturday or that final saturday when they're giving out all sorts of stuff and you get to see the national anthem played and you have like all these random sports that you only get to watch every four years but you're seeing the culmination of it there's all the great stories and that sort of sort of things i think that is also one of my favorite sporting experiences there is